Have you ever found something strange on the beach? Imagine picking up a rock that looks a bit weird, and then 35 years later, it changes your life. This isn't just a made-up story. It happened to a boy named Cy Doan. Seven-year-old Cy was running along the beach near Whitby, Yorkshire, his heart pounding as he dodged the waves. Suddenly, a loud, sharp cry filled the air. Cy stopped quickly, sending sand flying, and saw a seagull swooping down repeatedly at something half-buried near the water's edge. Curiosity got the best of him, and he ran over to see what was happening. As Cy got closer, the seagull flew away, revealing what it had been so interested in, a strange rock about the size of the boy's fist. Unlike the smooth pebbles on the beach, this rock had a bumpy surface that sparkled in the sunlight. Cy crouched down, his hands shaking with excitement, and reached out to touch it. Surprisingly, the rock felt smooth and cool, not rough like it looked. Without thinking, he grabbed the rock and stuffed it into his pocket, not knowing that this simple act would lead to an amazing adventure many years later. Cy ran back to his parents. He couldn't wait to show them his awesome find. But when he got there, his mom was busy packing up their beach stuff, and his dad was helping his little sister build a sandcastle. Look what I found, Cy yelled, pulling out the rock. His mom glanced at it quickly. That's nice, honey. Now help me fold this towel. Cy felt a bit sad that his parents didn't seem excited about his rock, but he knew it was special, even if no one else could see it yet. When they got home, he carefully put the rock on his bedside table. That night, he fell asleep dreaming about buried treasure and ancient mysteries. The following day, he went back to the beach to find new rocks, and slowly built a beautiful collection of rocks of all sizes, shapes, and colors. His parents encouraged him to pursue this passion, but since they didn't have much space inside their house, they were forced to place most of his rocks inside a box, and the special rock from the beach in Whitby soon became another part of his collection. Growing up, Cy spent a few more years collecting rocks from everywhere he went. Then life got busy. School, friends, and eventually work took up most of his time. The cool rock was soon forgotten, locked in a dusty box at the back of his closet, and eventually on a shelf in his garage. Fast forward to 35 years later. Cy is now 42 years old, living in Kent, and working a boring job in sales. He has a loving partner named Emma, but something in his life still doesn't feel right. Deep down, he feels like he was meant to do something more exciting with his life. One sunny Saturday morning, Emma tells him they need to clean out the garage. Dear, she says over breakfast, I think we should tackle the garage today. It's become a bit of a dumping ground, don't you think? Cy looks up from his coffee, a slight frown creasing his brow. I suppose you're right, he sighs. The garage is cluttered, full of things we don't need. There's so much old stuff in there, Emma says. We need to make space for something new. The garage is a time capsule of their lives together, mixed with remnants of Cy's past. Old sports equipment, boxes of holiday decorations, and forgotten DIY projects line the shelves and floor. As they sorted everything through the accumulated years, Cy feels a mix of nostalgia and sadness. Hours pass as they organize, clean, and decide what to keep or discard. Cy is about to call it a day when he notices a dusty box tucked away in the corner. Curious, he opens the wooden box. Inside, he finds a collection of childhood mementos, report cards, old toys, and a small wooden box labeled Beach Treasures. As he's sorting through boxes of old things, he comes across his childhood rock collection. And there, mixed in with the other rocks, is that strange one from the beach all those years ago. He picks it up, and memories come flooding back. It still looks just as weird and wonderful as when he found it. But wait a minute, is that a crack? Cy looks closer. There's a thin line running along one side of the rock, something he'd never noticed before. Cy gets curious. Very carefully, he puts a little pressure on the crack. To his surprise, the rock begins to split open. Emma, he shouts, come quick. His wife leaves what she is doing in the garage and rushes to him, worried. What's wrong? Are you okay? Cy's eyes are wide with surprise. Look, he says, holding out the now open rock. Inside the rock, perfectly preserved, is the spiral shell of an ancient sea creature. It's beautiful, with a rainbow shine that makes it look almost alive. Oh my goodness, Emma whispers. Is that a fossil? Cy nods, thinking quickly. I think it's an ammonite, an extinct sea creature, but I've never seen one like this before. The couple stares in awe at the unexpected treasure. Cy gently traces the spiral pattern uh, with his finger, marveling at its intricate details. It's incredible, Emma says softly, to think this has been hiding in our garage all these years. Cy feels a familiar rush of excitement. We need to learn more about this, he says with determination in his voice. He decides to take his find to a local museum. When the curator sees it, he carefully examines the fossil, his eyes widening with each passing moment, and gets super excited. 
This is incredible, the curator exclaims. The way it's preserved is amazing, and I've never seen this before. Where did you find it? Sai tells the story of how he found the rock on the beach as a kid. The curator listens carefully and then makes a phone call. Soon the whole museum is buzzing with excitement. Experts are brought in, and Sai's little beach rock soon becomes the center of attention. It turns out that his fossil is a brand new species of ammonite that scientists have never seen before. They believe it's around 180 million years old from the Jurassic period, meaning this creature lived the same time as dinosaurs. This discovery creates a big stir in the scientific community, and suddenly, Sai finds himself in the spotlight, sharing his story with newspapers and TV shows. Everyone is fascinated by the story of the boy who found a strange rock on the beach, only to discover its incredible secret 35 years later. But the best part is yet to come. Remember how Sai felt stuck in his boring sales job? Well, this fossil ignites a spark in him. With encouragement from his wife Emma and the scientists he meets, Sai decides to chase his childhood dream. At 43 years old, he goes back to school to study geology. Going back to school as an adult isn't easy, but Sai is determined. He throws himself into his studies, bringing a unique perspective as both an amateur fossil hunter and a mature student. Sai makes more discoveries as he learns more about paleontology, the study of fossils. He turns out to be really good at spotting fossils that others miss. He starts organizing fossil hunting trips for kids, sharing his passion and teaching them to find the extraordinary and ordinary looking rocks. Three years later, Sai graduates with top grades and continues to pursue a master's degree, focusing on Jurassic fossils from the Yorkshire's coast. His research helps scientists understand the ancient ecosystem where his ammonite once lived. His fossil, now named Siamonites Doné in his honor, is proudly displayed at the local museum. Sai often visits, amazed at how one curious moment on a beach led to this. Five years after the discovery, a scientist in Japan contacts Sai. They've been studying his ammonite with advanced technology and found something astonishing. Inside the fossil, they discover the remains of the ammonite's last meal, preserved in tiny detail. This incredible find provides new insights into what these ancient creatures ate and how they behaved, changing what's written in textbooks about prehistoric sea life. As Sai stands before a packed audience at a major science conference, presenting these findings, he can hardly believe how much his life has changed. From a bored salesman to a respected scientist, all because of a strange rock he found on a beach as a kid. But here's the really cool part. Sai's story inspires others. People of all ages start paying more attention to the rocks under their feet. Citizen science projects spring up with everyday people making extraordinary discoveries. Sai's journey proves that you're never too old to follow your dreams and that amazing things can happen when you stay curious. Now, a full-time paleontologist, Sai travels the world studying fossils and sharing his knowledge. He's written books about his experiences and even hosts a popular TV show about fossil hunting. But Sai never forgets where it all started. Every year, he organizes a special trip back to the beach in Whitby, where he found his life-changing rock. He brings groups of kids and adults, teaching them how to spot potential fossils and sharing the thrill of discovery. On one of these trips, a little girl named Lily finds a strange-looking rock. Her eyes light up with excitement as she shows it to Sai. He smiles, remembering his own childhood discovery. That's a great find, Lily, he says. You know, sometimes the most amazing treasures are right under our noses. We just need to take the time to look. Lily grins, holding her rock tightly. As Sai watches her excitement, he can't help but wonder, what incredible journey might this small stone set in motion? What dreams might it inspire? What secrets might it reveal in the years to come? At the beach, Sai takes a moment to reflect on his own incredible journey, from a curious boy with a pocket full of rocks, to a respected scientist making real contributions to our understanding of Earth's ancient past, all because of one strange stone found on a beach so many years ago. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a small piece of his original fossil, which he always carries with him as a reminder of where it all began. Running his thumb over its smooth surface, Sai smiles. Life, he thinks, is a lot like this beach, full of hidden wonders just waiting to be discovered. All we need is the curiosity to look and the patience to let their stories unfold. As Sai gathers the group to head back from the beach, he feels deeply grateful. His life has changed in ways he never could have imagined, all because of a simple decision to pick up a rock on a beach 35 years ago. It's a powerful reminder that every small action, every moment of curiosity, has the potential to lead us on incredible adventures. The group makes their way up the beach, their pockets heavy with rocks, and their minds full of possibilities. Sai takes one last look at the waves lapping at the shore, thinking about all the secrets they might still hold. He may have already made the discovery of a lifetime, 
but somehow he knows his greatest adventures are still to come. So the next time you're walking on a beach, in a park, or even just in your backyard, keep your eyes open. Pay attention to the rocks under your feet. You never know what hidden secrets they might hold. Your own incredible discovery could be waiting for you. So what do you think? Have you ever found something strange that turned out to be more special than you thought? Maybe it wasn't a million-year-old fossil, but it could have been a cool-looking rock, an interesting bug, or a unique leaf. Share your discoveries in the comments here. You might just inspire the next big scientific breakthrough.